Crossing the border. Negotiations were discussed during our time with the white man with various things, such as the move in the previous chapter. Many of our people would go around the place making surveys of this new land. Though we had yet to make our own desperados like Georgia over East, we still believed in human rights and would give second chances. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Fort Smith. It's the only place I know about, but having us Cherokee and the Whites together makes it kind of awkward. I heard that there's a fort in Delaware County called Fort Wayne. I should probably go check it out sometime. I'm Millen P. Ross, the first editor of the Cherokee Advocate. My principal chief was John Jolly and John Ross led the Cherokee in the do wishing a constitution and three branch government. The Cherokee Advocate, printed in 1844 in Tahlequah, was printed in both English and Cherokee, and the first editor was William P. Ross. Finding food was difficult. The tribes that actually had money were charged crazy, crazy outrageous prices by lying traders. Unlike mine, some tribes had money, but most were like mine and were destitute. The government was reestablished with me, John Jolly, principal chief in 1807. When I died in 1838, John Looney took my place. White Mission in 1821 in Arkansas Territory was re-established in 1829 in Indian Territory. Fortifi Fortified Mission in 1828 was relocated in Crops and livestock were raised on well-tended farms with log homes. Uh, Cherokee John Rogers produced 80 bushels of salted date at the Grand Saline on the Grand River. And some Cherokee operated grass mills and sawmills, and some were blacksmiths while others were wheelwrights. Go. The Cherokee Indians were the first Indians with a written language. They were also here since the last ice age. You see that? This is the wilderness. This is the real wild. See this? This is our water source. Ew. The editor of the Cherokee Advocate. My principal chief was John Jelly. Berries. We gather a male gather. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ah. This is our extra animal poop. It's a great source for protein. Yes. 